Footballers are known for their superstitions and pre-game rituals, some of which may seem a bit strange, from kissing bald heads to sitting on toilets. Here are some of the weirdest pre-game rituals that footballers have indulged in. You won't believe what Borussia Dortmund's goalkeeper, Roman Berkey, does before every single game. The guy has a seriously strange ritual where he has to touch the match ball before the kickoff. Like, he won't even start his 90-minute goalkeeping duties until he's given that ball a good old feel. And get this, when the two team captains go up for the coin toss, the Swiss keeper creeps up behind the ref and either snags the ball or swipes it from one of the mascots. I guess he wants to just get cosy with the ball before he spends 90 minutes defending his net like a boss. Elsewhere, Fabregas has also joined the party. He's not superstitious or anything, but he likes to kiss this ring his wife gave him four times before he hits the pitch. He says it brings him good luck or something, and he only kisses it four times because four is his lucky number. Yep, he's had that number on his shirt for his entire career. But hey, who are we to judge? If kissing the ring is what makes him play like a boss, then more power to him. But unlike Fabregas, Neymar has more than one pre-game ritual. He has actually got more pre-match habits than you can shake a stick at. First up, he always has a little chat with his dad before the game. Then, he's got to listen to some tunes to get in the zone. But wait, it gets better. Neymar is also a super religious guy, so he's got to pray before he hits the field. Can't blame the guy for wanting a little divine intervention, I guess. And of course, he never forgets to hit up the bathroom before the match. Hey, when nature calls, you got to answer, right? But here's the real kicker. He always posts a photo of himself on social media before the game. I mean, we get it, Neymar. You've got a lot of fans out there. But do they really need to see a pic of you every single time you play? While Neymar may have his pre-match rituals, Thibaut Courtois is another player known for his own unique habits before taking the field. He enters the stadium corridors at a particular time. He reaches for his phone and texts his girlfriend. Hey babe, changing my clothes now. Don't bother me until the game's over. Next up, the bathroom. But it's not just any ordinary bathroom break. Oh no. He takes a selfie of himself on the throne and sends it to four of his buddies back home. And who said men can't multitask? But that's not all. Courtois is left-handed, so he's got to put his left shoe and sock on first. And before he steps out onto the pitch, he wets the tips of his gloves. It's like a ritual. And once he reaches the goal, he hits the post with his boot and punches the middle of the net. It's like he's summoning some kind of magical powers. And all of this, according to the man himself, puts him in a trance-like state where he can't be distracted. I mean, who needs meditation when you've got all these quirky pre-game habits? The next one is Gary Lineker, who was a curious character when it came to his pre-game warm-up routine. The former English striker refused to kick the ball toward the goal during his warm-up, fearing that he would waste his precious goals before the game even started. It's like he believed in the myth of limited goals, and if he scored too many in the warm-up, he'd have to borrow some from the next game. With only one goal less than the legend Sir Bobby Charlton, we can only wonder what might have happened if he had taken a few more chances during his pre-game routine. From one Englishman to the other, Phil Jones. Phil Jones also has some knack for pre-game shenanigans. His ritual was pretty straightforward at United. According to the player, his sock selection depends entirely on whether United was playing home or away. If they were at Old Trafford, he put on his left sock first. But if they were away, it was the right sock that goes on first. It seems that Jones was so obsessed with his socks that he spent more time thinking about them than defending. Another former United lad to follow the pre-game rituals bandwagon is none other than Zlatan Ibrahimovic. He has a secret weapon to make him score big in every game. He puts himself on a sex band before every major match. It seems like the strikers found a way to channel all of his energy and passion into the game and avoid getting distracted by other um, activities. Rumour has it that Zlatan takes this band very seriously and even imposed it on his wife, Helena Seeger, after a particularly bad performance on the pitch. It seems like he really means business when it comes to winning games. Zlatan's pre-game ritual might involve a sex ban, but at least it's not as weird as Gary Neville's. 
Speaking of Neville, the Manchester United legend would change into his full kit and then retreat to the bathroom, where he would sit on the toilet with the lid closed and read the day's programme for a peaceful 15 minutes before the game. It's safe to say that Neville's rituals were a bit over the top, but they certainly worked for him. Maybe Arsenal should take notes from Gary Neville's pre-match rituals. Sitting on the toilet with the lid down might not help them win the Champions League, but at least it will give them some tranquility tranquility before their inevitable exit in the round of 16. The next in line is the legend himself. Johan Cruyff, the Dutch footballing icon, may have been dismissive of pre-match rituals later in his career, but he actually had a few of his own back in the early days at Ajax. In the 1970s, before games, Cruyff would give goalkeeper Gert Bowes a reassuring slap on the belly before dramatically spitting his chewing gum into the opposition's half. Talk about an intense pre-game routine. However, by the 1990s, Cruyff had grown out of these habits and became a vocal critic of players and coaches who indulged in such superstitions. Maybe he realised that belly slapping and gum spitting weren't the key to winning matches. Get ready for a bit of weird stuff. Former Wolfsburg centre-forward Maria Gomez had a peculiar pre-game ritual during his early days as a player. He would only use the gents or urinal on the left side before every match. Although he later abandoned the habit, he still prefers it if the left side is available. If you ever find yourself next to him in the bathroom, make sure to leave that left urinal open. The last one features Laurent Blanc. The French defender used to kiss the bald head of goalkeeper Fabien Barthez for good luck during the 1998 World Cup, and the team kept winning. When Blanc missed the final, he still kissed Barthez's head, and France won 3-0. They they also listened to I Will Survive before every game. Blanc continued the ritual in the Euro 2000, and France won that tournament too. Maybe some superstitions are true after all. Okay, okay, that's enough for the day. While you're at it, please like the video if it's informative. Also, subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification so that you don't miss any videos we post. 